Hello everyone, my name is David Edgar, I'm the host of Heart and Hand, the Rangers podcast and I'm joining you today after Rangers 2-1 victory over Dundee at Dens Park. Rangers, you are going to kill us, you are taking years off all of us. That one today was through the ringer uh, and then some for 90 minutes, my goodness. Uh, first things first, Rangers did not play well, uh, particularly in the first half. Second half improved and somehow somehow managed to dig it out after finding ourselves in a very precarious position because I, I feel to win the league we needed to win the next two games in particular. We had to beat Dundee and we had to beat Celtic at, at Ibrox. To drop points today, it wouldn't have been impossible but we'd have been needing snookers and instead now we go forward into this huge month that we have. We've got two weeks to reset where we can you know work on things that we need to work on and get the players ready and focused. Um, there were four changes to the side that played on Thursday night and to be honest, I, I still don't think we need two defensive midfielders, Sands and Lundstrom, today when we're taking on a side like Dundee. Dundee are a very limited side and after playing them twice in a week, we can't pretend that they're a really good side or they raised their game to a, a certain level. They worked hard today, but in the first half, real lack of quality from Rangers was what cost us. Uh, Dundee took the lead after just six minutes. And poor defender from Rangers. We didn't block a cross coming in. I thought Aaron Ramsey went for it with his wrong foot. I think if he'd opened his body up with his right side, like so, then there wouldn't have been the space. But instead, he goes in with his left, which leaves it open. Just a match sharpness thing, and he would go on to play well and play an important part. Um, at the back post, for some reason, the full back running in has Ryan Kent uh, for company in the air. Mismatch, and it was 1 0. Uh, and Rangers just didn't settle. The pitch was bad, but that doesn't excuse Rangers passing accuracy or lack of it. Even so, we, we might have got an equaliser through Alfredo Morelos or Conor Goldson, uh, first a header that drifted just wide, the second a shot on the turn that went wide, decent effort from Big Conor. Um, but we were handed a chance just uh, just leading up to half-time when Alfredo Morelos was pulled in the box and Bobby Madden awarded the penalty. I think it was the right decision. He's got his shot. You can see he's got his shot. It's a penalty. It's also a red card. This is one of these decisions that, that Scottish referees do a lot when they make a value judgment. There are only two outcomes here. You can either say it's not a foul and let it play on, or you say it is a foul, you award a penalty and it's a red card because he's not made an attempt to play the ball. The double jeopardy rule doesn't apply if you've not made an attempt to play the ball. Even so, Tav steps up, tries to do the top corner thing and blazes it over. And I'll be honest, at that point, given we were wearing the 150th anniversary strip and our bad luck with new kits on big nights, um, I was uh, I, I, I was low. Um, we made changes at half-time on Kemaribo and Sakala. And the second half was held up for another protest, a, a toilet roll protest. There had been one in the first half as well. I get the first half. Uh, I understand that. You want to make your point and live TV game does that. So I do understand that. It, the second was an own goal. It, it doesn't bring people around to your opinion. All it does is annoy other fans. And it, it did disrupt the team. They're trying to start and get momentum. You saw Alan McGregor's reaction to it. The first one, fine. Second one, no. I want the friendly cancelled. It needs to be cancelled. But we don't want to interrupt the team. What we're going for is, is too important for that. Uh, and I felt that the second one was unnecessary and just divisive. And it doesn't help. It doesn't help the cause that you're trying to do. And it certainly didn't help the team. But Rangers did come back into it. And from about 60 minutes, began to play with real authority. Pinned Dundee back. It was shot after shot. Aaron Ramsey forces a good save. Alfie forces a save. Uh, corner after corner. And from one of those, uh, led to a goal. Substitute Kamar Roof, who should be getting more game time, by the way. He looks really sharp. He managed to get his head on the one. The keeper palmed it. And there was Aaron Ramsey for his first Rangers goal to bundle over the line from close range. Good players. Roof can find that bit of space in the box. Ramsey goes in because you never know and it pops up with a goal. After that, sprinklers came on. Maybe accidentally, maybe not. I can't blame Dundee if it wasn't. They're at the bottom of the league and they're competing to try and stay up. They'll do anything they can. And Rangers had seemed to have lost a bit of momentum. And with time drifting out, of all people, Connor Goldson arrives in the box late on uh, at the end of a loose ball after a, a challenge had been semi-blocked. And a lovely finish. I must admit, at first I thought, He's going to welly this and it's going to end up in Tannadice. But instead, he just guided it past the goalkeeper for 2-1. And uh, eight minutes injury time. Well, seven, but we played eight because obviously you need to give Dundee as much possible time to score. 
Um, but then the, it was over and we got the win. Huge, enormous, terrible performance in the first half. I mean, really bad, atrocious, but we got there and we had to. It's been a, a fairly ferocious period of games and they look jaded today, but it's starting. That's the seventh time this season Rangers have conceded in the opening 10. That's not starting properly. And I do think there's a bit of a kind of after the Lord Mayor show about the Thursday to Sunday. And I think because we'd spanked them last week at a canter, that Rangers maybe were a bit complacent. But they dug it out. We now have two weeks off, two weeks to reset, and a big game when we come back. And I have no fears about that game because I the players will be bang up for it. They'll come out and, and they'll be focused and the crowd will be bang up for it. It's those matches against teams where they're maybe just thinking, ah, well, we can phone it in a wee bit here that have caused us problems this season. So, can't wait. It's going to be a massive game. I really do fancy us for it. And if we get that, then uh, things become very, very interesting indeed. It's all there for us. This could be an enormous season still. Thanks for listening to me, folks. I'll talk to you again in two weeks. It's going to be a biggie. Take care. Bye-bye.